Hi guys, it's Day 96 of being a boy and I probably sound a little bit different and that's because I've been doing my voice masculinisation training. I found this bloke on TikTok and Twitter called Chris. He says he's the most alpha male in the world. He was doing all these videos where he was going on about how sexy he was and what a big alpha male he was. I think it was actually a humiliation fetish thing because he looks like a soy act to me. He doesn't look very masculine. He's got the thick glasses and the dodgy beard. So I don't think he looks like an alpha male really. He actually reminded me of an incident I had back in the past. Back when I was 19 I had this babysitting gig and I was looking after this toddler. And he was about, he was a bit smaller than me right enough. I mean he was a boy but he hadn't gone through puberty yet. So he didn't have all the physical advantages at the tapes they're always telling us about. Anyway it was time for him to go to bed. And I said to him go to bed. And he said no. And I said go to bed and he said no. And he kicked me in the ankles. It didn't hurt or anything, but it was really annoying. And I said, go to bed, and he said, no. He kicked me, I restrained him. He kicked me, I restrained him. He kicked me, I restrained him. I picked him up, put him under my arm. He tried punching me, I restrained him. He started yelling, I restrained him. He shut up, I restrained him. He tried running around the house, I restrained him. And I was getting really bored of all this actually, it was really tiring and I wanted to sit downstairs and watch movies but I couldn't because he were running around, wouldn't go to bed. So I restrained him again and after, after I'd restrained him like a hundred times, I must have restrained him a hundred times so obviously I had no choice but to knock him the fuck out. Put my fist down on his fucking head and he were knocked out. It were busting. It were like a fucking trauma movie. There were blood and spinal fluid coming out of his nose. And that's when I realised that safeguarding children is really important. Because they're smaller than you. You can't do the same things you can with a man. Not that I would dare, but, you know, you can't do the things that you can with a man if, if, you, if you were so inclined. Because I was in the cadets back then and also I'd, I'd learned all these different techniques for restraining people. So I had restrained him like a hundred times but I got bored. Because they were showing the Blue Witch movie that night on the telly so I didn't want to miss it. So I had to get him to bed early. But I learnt my lesson because I didn't get any money from that babysitting gig. It made me feel more secure in my masculinity actually. You know, if I could beat the fuck out of someone who's like a third in my size and that makes me a really big man anyway that's why I realised it's important to protect the vulnerable because I'm such a big strong alpha male it was really awesome though it was like, oh you should have seen it oh my god it was, it was like a fucking Tarantino film it was like that bit in the reservoir dogs where he's cutting his ears off except he still had his ears people were saying I oh, were having a midlife crisis but it weren't we ain't going off and shagging the secretary or buying a sports car, was I? No, we've become an alpha male activist. And it's not like I'm the only one either. You find loads of guys like me at your local custody hearings, a dogging site, or SUV dealership. But then the TFs will get offended at everything, won't they? Bloody women. I'll see if I can get them fighting amongst themselves, actually. <laughs> Love ya.